Hey Aries, so this is your daily read for July 14th. Take it resonates, leave the rest. Let's see what we got going on from the Aries baby for today. I hope you took advantage of the full moon last night with affirmations, manifestations, releasing stuff. I actually didn't get a chance to see it due to it being cloudy and rainy, but I hope you got to see it. We have the King of Swords showing up. You could be dealing with the air sign. Don't have to be. Ooh. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But you don't have to be. Okay. bottom deck energy is a seven of swords all right so we have the king of swords the three of cups we have the star card we have the tower in reverse we have the strength card or i'm sorry the nine of wands we have the eight of cups as well as the seven of swords bottom deck energy so with the king of swords you could be um, I feel like that this is you trying to cut through some stuff like you're trying to be honest with yourself trying to be honest with others um, with the three of cups you have a very strong support system you got a very loving solid support system but you notice that they're holding up the moon so they're helping you move through the things that you just that are just unknown to you um, we have the star card here um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You don't have to be, but you're finding healing in certain things. You're finding so much healing that it's knocking out your tower moments. Like you're finishing your assignments before your assignments even get assigned to you. And so things are just kind of trucking right along. Um, this could also mean that you're avoiding tower moments, but I'm not really taking that. I'm, I'm not getting that vibe. I'm not getting the vibe that you're avoiding anything. I think that like with the nine of wands, you have been doing a lot of work to where you're building up your strength, but you're still on defense as to I've worked this hard and I'm not willing to share it with just anyone. I'm not willing to let it go. I don't want anyone to take advantage. We do have the eight of cups. You're seeing what you need to walk away from. You are definitely seeing what you need to walk away from, but... If you walk away, you don't know what you're walking to. The Seven of Swords tells me... Now, normally, the Seven of Swords is about you feeling like somebody is deceiving you. But the Seven of Swords is also about finding a new strategy. In the Rider Waite deck, it's a soldier taking swords away from the opposite... Uh, branch of military so instead of fighting them with the swords he decided that he's going to steal the swords to even keep them from fighting and so i feel like that you know and and that's a different strategy than fighting and so i feel like that you're trying to find a different strategy in order to go forward with something it's like that strategy didn't work so i'm going to try this strategy and so I do feel like you are going to be making movements with your heart. It's just, I think that you tried to take like maybe a baby step here and there. And you wanted to make something work. Or maybe you dropped hints. Maybe you, you did this or did that. But it wasn't enough for it to really be noticed. Or maybe it was noticed, but it just wasn't enough. So that tells me that you could be trying to find a different strategy in order to get what it is that you are looking for. We are going to pull some cards to see what energies is around you, Aries. But you do have a very strong support system, so that is an awesome thing. This one to come out. So you have air signs around you. And that goes right along with the King of Swords, all the swords that I see. And also the Aquarius card, the star coming out. We do have Aries. You're popping out in your own. But you could also be dealing with another Aries. We have Cancer. One more spirit. Could be dealing with a Cancer. You don't have to be, but this could also, this could be in your charts. It could also be in your person's chart. 
even if it's not their sun sign. We also have Scorpio. Bottom deck energy is Capricorn. So that's what I have for you today, Aries. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.